Hello everyone, it's Cindy and I've started working on fall journals. I'm way behind and I've given myself this whole week to finish. And the reason I'm taking the whole week is because I'm going to be gone for a few days. Uh, so I really don't want to take that long, but we're going to see. Last night I started pulling out the little stuff. I got the covers all together uh, earlier in the, you know, at the end of last week. And I had eight covers and two of, no, three of them actually don't have to be fall. So I made them not specifically like leaves and pumpkins, that sort of thing, but just maybe some fall colors. So they, those can be set aside. But the other ones, you know, have more uh, pumpkin leaves, uh, think grateful, happy Thanksgiving, that sort of thing. So I don't know that I get them all done. I do have all the signatures something in. Well, actually, that's not true. Of all the ones that didn't need some spine work. So they're waiting. I have two waiting. So anyway, you don't care about all that. Anyway, uh, I'm going to get done what I can this week. And then I'm going to start on Christmas next week. Hope hopefully, I'm going to be gone again next week. My daughter's play is coming up. We got to take, I may have mentioned it one other video. Uh, she needed some pillory stocks, you know, the kind that you put your head through and your arm through and they collapsed it down and you had to stand in the town square. So she needed a set of those, so her brother made them for her. But they wouldn't fit in her car when she was here last weekend, so not this, two weekends ago, I guess. So we have to make a flying trip up there to deliver those. And then we have to go next weekend to watch the play so it's gonna be wild around here but i'm definitely getting some of these finished and i want to obviously illuminate my uh stash and i have my stash down to two boxes and um but that was with this you know the covers flat and everything so okay what am i doing here enough talk i went through some one two of the cases i have two cases and then i had thrown a bunch of stuff in the drawer so it ended up being like three cases worth of stuff um I'm going through and making pockets, tags, journaling cards, that sort of thing. And I was sitting at my chair last night going through it. And uh, if I had the stuff to make it, I finished it. And if I didn't, I kind of tried to stack all the pieces together. So when I got back in here today, I can finish something up. So who knows if it all stayed in place. So things I didn't have to finish. I didn't have like book page. I didn't have my ink or anything like that. So we're going to start at the top and work our way down but i'm going to remove this i want to put it to my side and try not to tump it or dump it over because that means i have to start all over and it's one of those i don't know if i can fit there or not i just got to put it on the floor it's too wide it's one of those that has a pad on the bottom so it's not going to sit just perfectly straight okay maybe that got it all right i'm grabbing the first thing off the top here we go Okay, now let's make sure, since that's all the way. Okay, I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. And this kind of helped me stay in frame. As you can see, I have glue all around me because I couldn't find glue. They were out of glue. So, um, I finally got, went to a different Dollar General and got these. Went to a different Walmart and got some other glue sticks. And I uh, finally found one bottle of Abertac. And it's unopened and I'm just going to try to use this one this one i guess uh for a while and then i will combine these two thin them down and use that one for a while so anyway i don't know how long the shortage is going to be but without glue i'm kind of stuck in the water you know what i mean so anyway okay this is a pocket that um either gail showed how to make or uh, i think it's natasha at treasure books and I made a few of them. I mentioned it in one other video about how I got this paper and I didn't realize it said baby boy on it. So I uh, stamped around it to kind of disguise that. So um, I think it's made to go over a page. So that's what we're going to do with it. And I think this one I glued down to be a tuck. I did not glue here. I need to glue there because uh, I think one of them I just kept it where you can unfold it, but not this one. So let's see. We're going to do with the glue after talking about it. Get the lid off. Mm, it's not wanting to come off. There we go. All right. Put that back. Let's clean this off a little bit. And I just tried to gather. See, I don't think I meant for that to go with this. Nope. I had... I know people have been making washi tape out of the um, um, vellum and... Um, what do you call it? Tracing paper. 
So uh, I had found two pieces whenever I was unpacking my uh, fall stuff. So I didn't, I just did some stamping on it. And I know it's very hard to see. Maybe if I put it up against this, you can see maybe a little bit. <laughs> anyway, so I just tore a piece of that off and uh, I thought I'd put this on here. And since I don't, have, oh, I got a glue. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, that. I heard a strange noise. Is it the bottle of glue? Anyway, um, maybe we'll get going. Maybe we won't. I should have already poked it. I was using this one last night, and I lost the, the lid, of course, for a little bit, so it got a little bit dry. So fast forward through this part. Okay, there we go helps too if I put my glasses on and see what I'm doing. I promise we're going to get moving in a minute. <laughs> okay. So, glue that down. Try not to get any glue sticking this side. And I'm going to glue this side down because it's just the same. And there we go. Okay, so it doesn't matter which side. I, you know, only figured up decorations for one side so we'll just do one and then we'll catch up with the other one later so i was thinking something like this it covers up more of that baby boy stuff so let's just do it okay i don't know I gotta, that's <laughs> which side's which on this stuff it's kind of hard to tell and it's just very subtle the stamping i did on it so it's just meant to be a little suggestion in the background i guess and let's see, glue this down. And I was taking these things and putting them in the journals as I kind of went or found them or whatever. And then finally I decided I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to do a gigantic um, box of ephemera. And when I need a pocket, I'll dig through it, find something, and then... Um, just whatever's left, the next journal, I'll just dig through it that way. And then I can always make more if I need to, but we'll see. I don't know how I want that exactly. How about that? Okay, this is just something I cut from a magazine or some advertisement or something. <clears throat> so, yeah, I need to decorate the other side. But for now, I don't have anything, so we'll see what comes up. I'm just going to leave it here facing me, showing me that blank side. Because I know this doesn't go on it. It goes on. This one, which is a little different. It's not meant to go over a page and it's just folded and made into a tuck and it's already glued. So I just wanted to put this on there <coughs> and we'll be done with it. And if I could find my art glitter glue, which I haven't looked for it yet, it's stuck in some tub of something where I was probably working in another room and then forgot. So I just haven't taken the time to look for it, but I was the other day, I thought, I'm going to have to find that if I can't get any more Fabri-Tac or glue sticks. So, uh, and I hadn't tried ordering anything off Amazon. I thought, I'm going to wait and see uh, what I can find locally first. So, okay, that's pretty simple. It kind of disguises <laughs> the baby boy stuff, and it'll be fine. So, okay, we'll put it here as the done pile. Okay, what's next? All right, I have this. I was thinking that I can make this a flip out. It may be too tall. And this is from Antique Papery. How nice of me to have written that on there. I remember I used this because it didn't print right. Because the other page messed up. So I got one page out of it. And I thought I had this picture from probably one of those five ring binders. And it's got the fall colors. And I think I'll put some of this uh, old. It's not hand crocheted but it's made to look like that uh trim along the side and then we'll make it a flip out and if i need to cut it down i can cut it down later whenever i figure out which journal it goes in i have several journals that are um like the nine by 12 envelopes folded in half and then i have one that's really small so this one obviously won't work in that so anyway i just dug through my stash because it was just you know threw stuff in there threw stuff in there 
last year when I was finished, I just threw the leftover supplies in there. So I'm sorting it and kind of making ephemera as I went. This actually could use a little touch with the iron, but we're not going to mess with that right now. And I think, uh, let's see, I'm going to go ahead and cut it. I was trying to debate whether to hang it off the edge or not. I think I won't. That way it just keeps it um, a little bit more secure, I guess, since I don't know how far it will stick out and all that. We'll just leave it mainly on the page. Is this the right hot glue? No, actually it's not. <laughs> That's why I'm struggling with it so much. It's the one I said I was not going to use. <laughs> At least I think so. Okay, so... Definitely a vintage look there. It's definitely, I would say, vintage um, trim and definitely a vintage picture onto a brand new print, uh, digital print. Okay, we're going to try the other bottle. But I'll keep it there until we're ready for it. Okay, so the idea is to make it a flip out, except I need to get rid of that on the back. See if I can erase it without the eraser making a bigger mess. You can always put washi over it. I think we'll be fine. Yeah, you can write right over that. Okay, so that one's done. All right, what's next? Let's see. I have, I think this was meant to be a faux envelope. You know, I haven't inked any of the stuff. Um, not a faux envelope, a faux stamp. Um, because of the way it's made, I collaged it and then it's, I cut it out with my zigzag scissors. I think I ordered, or I was going to order, I don't know if I've ever finished it, the ones that's got the, more of the postage stamp uh, edging on it. And I don't know, I've ordered things and I forget. And I look at things and I don't remember if I ordered them or not, but we'll see if they show up. So, okay. So anyway, um, I know I made this to be a gigantic faux stamp, so we need to ink the edges. We need to put down a focal point, which also needs ink. And this is from Took's Craft Table, I believe. I ordered her, or ordered, I bought her digital kit of the mushrooms. Okay, um, now I need my, I need to glue that on first, but I need my postal stamp thing, which is, that one could work. I have this, another one right here I have more than these but these are the ones I always keep on the ready so anyway I, when I make these I like to um, collage a background just out of scraps off the table or desk and then um, um, put my focal point over it so it gives it a background sometimes it could be just a solid piece on the background just whatever I have floating around and this one's big enough, it could be a tuck if I wanted it to be, so I probably will. Or it could also be a journaling card, which would be a cool idea. I don't know what kind of backing I have on it. So whenever I decide, I can add a backing if I want it to be a journaling card. Okay, ink pad right here. I'm gonna start with this small one. And just do a little. Just a little bit. Oops, I probably should put something under it. Some jelly paper I've been stamping on. Okay, this one's so big, I don't know. I'm not gonna use that because I might make a mess, so get a few more lines. Alright, that's good enough. Okay, lid. Keep these at the ready. That at the ready, that at the ready. And then now this will be finished. So I think definitely either a tuck or journaling card will be cute. Okay, so it depends on which one I need the most. Okay. Um, I have a paper clip here for pumpkin. I'm not gonna use it anything other than just as a paper clip. So I'll put it there so I won't lose it. This is that postcard that was from Oregon that I collaged <laughs> a few weeks back, and I've already inked it, so I just thought I'd put this mushroom on there. It's got birds on there from a napkin that's kind of a focal point, so um, 
I just thought I'd put the mushroom on and um, definitely could put a label or something there too. So let me go grab those right behind me. I definitely need to use some of them up, don't I? Let's see what I've got. If I want just a decorative one, what's this yellow one? Maybe something like that. We'll just use that. I'm going to keep this here in case we need to use it. Okay. This glass mat can be noisy, so I apologize for slamming my scissors on it, scraping that ink container on it. Okay. Quiet, quiet. Okay. So anyway, this is just kind of like a crazy collage card, and um, it is an actual postcard. And it had an organ scene on there, so and it was all wet, it had been gotten wet and it was warped. So <laughs> we just definitely made something out of trash. That's basically what it ended up being. Okay. This is printed some really thin paper. I think it's like when you get a receipt, you know how there's a yellow page sometimes, a carbon copy of it. I don't even know if they use the word carbon anymore or not, but um, so it's very thin. Okay. All right, so that one's finished. And I guess I should show these as I go, maybe. Sorry, we haven't been doing that. There's the, that mushroom. I think that was all the mushrooms I found in this stash. And then that one. And then this one, which is half finished. So, okay. See what I got next. Okay, I have this now. This is a napkin that I put on to some white cardstock, and um, I had this big leaf, and it had the plastic stuff on the back, so I just pulled it right off. So I was thinking this would be a cute either belly band or flip. It could be a flip since it's so big, and it's not. I tore it here, so I think I wanted the rest of it to be rough. I don't need it to be this big, so. Uh, Let's see, I'm gonna get my deco scissors. Let's see what it's gonna look like. I think that'd be okay. And the width of it, I'm gonna leave the width because I think maybe a flip's not a bad idea. This leaf has been, it's not the best made leaf. I thought maybe it had been, I think it just hasn't been cut. I thought maybe it'd been folded over, but I think maybe it just hasn't been cut. We're gonna cut it until like that's the way it's supposed to be. Okay, so okay. Finish what I'm doing over here. I think I'll keep the original width of this. This is like one side of the napkin. And just gonna glue it on and yeah. Oh dear, now which bottle's which? And I'm thinking a flip out's not a bad idea. I think it's too wide. It could be a belly band. I'm getting ink and glue all over my fingers. <laughs> Trying to hold it down. Get out of the way. Uh, the napkin's rough. The silk leaf's got um, not texture, what I want, like a 3D property to it. So it's not going to lay down completely smooth, but at least it's stuck down. And um, I'm going to wait. Well, no, I'm not. I'm going to cut it off because I don't want it to look like it's large on one end and not the other. This could be a massive journaling card as well. That could be one journaling card that we can add something to so I'll put it in an unfinished stack let's ink this up does that look like it's folded over yes were y'all yelling at me hey get another part that's folded over 
Good grief, how did I miss that? Yeah, there we go. It might not be too bad if I sewed that on, but I would have to wait till um, it dries. Oh, this is ground espresso I'm thinking with, just because it was a new one I had, so it's nice and juicy. Okay, we're going to call it done for now. Put it in the stash. It's about the same as far as glue in them. Okay, next up. This was a piece of quilt fabric I had. Oh, I don't think I shelled it up close. And um, I just glued it onto some paper because I thought it, I want, sorry, I want it to be a pocket. So I'm thinking just cutting around it and not doing much else to it. If I find some sort of little fabric embellishment maybe to put on there, but. Um, all I know of that I have maybe might be some scrap in of these things. I mean, that one's purple, but I have some orange ones. I don't know if that would look good on there or not. Let me see. Let me grab, see if I can find the orange one. Screech. Flowers, butterflies. Oh. I just think it's too bright. That one's not quite so bad, but I don't know. I don't know that they have much to it. Maybe not too bad if we get one of those labels again. Let's see. It's a greenish round one. Something like that. There's a green one, but the greens just really don't match. Let's see. I'm looking here. I think I like the yellow better. We're going with it. We're going with it. Stuff that back in there. Put you back over here. Okay, we're just going to do it. Whether it adds to the pocket or not, we'll to be determined, I guess. And I may need to put it on some, um, the whole thing on some thicker um, stuff because that's pretty thin. These are um, labels I made with that stencil I got at Dollar General. Just stenciled the edge and all the actual label border and then just different things stamping done to it. So, okay, that's not too bad. I am going to back it on something. Let's see. I have some of these extra pages from a five ring binder that it's, you know, all about the bugs and the diseases and stuff. So I don't think anyone wants those. But that's a, this will give me another layer of paper, so I think it'll work fine. Give this some thickness. And I'll cut it out. And this can be stitched around as well, so... I don't know how close to get it or where to aim it exactly. Okay. Now, what's next? I have, let's try not to screech that, these note cards. And a bunch of these stickers. I'm trying to move stuff carefully. See if I can find some that... Oh. oh yeah, let's 
this one. Let's do this one first. These, I put the pieces inside. Yeah, so let's do these. And these are from Artzology, just some I had printed, so I just left them the way they were. I can add stuff to them later as I decide whether they're journaling cards or gonna be tucks. That can be a label on something or just finished. This was a journaling card I put some fabric on, so it could be a tuck. So I'm gonna say it's finished too. Another faux stamp and another faux stamp. I put stickers on them. And this is what I was getting towards. So let's go ahead and finish these though. They just needed to be inked and they needed to be stamped with that um, postal mark. So I had a set of stickers in my stash. It was um, just different fall images. So I'm not saving stuff for anything anymore. Like, oh, I might need that somewhere else on something better. Yeah. Don't want to get it on his face. Okay. got the other one on there a little bit but I didn't ink yeah I didn't ink him around okay so those would be done those can be made into paper clips that's what I usually do with them so those would be cute okay now to this here's one I did last night I just put the sticker on there and then I had a word sticker and then of course the inside is just ready for journaling so this can be a journaling card or journaling booklet that goes in a pocket or it could be the front taken off and uh, the um, it could be used as a tuck. So either way it works. So I um, just want to see what it looks like inked up very quickly. Okay, so I'm just going to leave that like that. And if I decide to take any of these apart later, I can. Um, here's another one. Okay, there's the one I just did. Here's another one. And... Uh, it's kind of hard to read this the sticker because the background shows through. But the, this leaf and that sticker were from the same thing as that fox and the raccoon I just did the stamp from. Do I have it in here? Yes, I have something in here. So let's see. Okay, this is cut from a... It was a book on uh, stamps, making your own cards. Oh, so I just cut out the finished projects. I had pictures of them and decided um, I'll use them for my journals and I think um, it's kind of big but maybe I could cut it down here's just the center image I don't know let's just wait and think I have plenty more over here um, let's get to that later okay what's in this one I have pieces okay so I can eat the rest of these the insides and backs of these later but let's just do the front Get rid of some of the white. Okay. I have a piece of book page, which I remember not being real happy with. So I've got another book behind me. So let's just get a page from it. And I don't want to talk about a funeral. I don't know how big I need it. And this is just an old picture um, from one of those um, same five ring binders. So it helps it not get quite so lost, maybe. Okay. So anyway, it just had fall colors in the picture. So I had cut it out and just put it in my tub, and here we are. This one was on its side. Oops, <laughs> sticking to it. Most of these journals, I think, like I said, I had eight. Put three aside, didn't do them at all. So I had eight, I think, all together. And uh, every single one of them, I didn't use any digitals. It was all scrapbook paper and, you know, like copy dyed paper and 
some ledger paper, stuff like that. So um, I have a massive amount of scraps that we might deal with in another video about making things for the, uh, yeah, for um, out of the scraps for these journals. Yes. Okay. All right. Now let's see. What else do I have already? Okay. That one doesn't have one. Nope. Nope. That may be it. We're going to assume that's it. Okay. So I have a whole bunch of these left, which I don't have to use them all at the same time, of course. But I also have all these stickers left, so why not use them? And why can I not just use three of them stacked together like that? So, let's think about this. Uh, book page again? Oh, I still have this one. behind it a little maybe yes do I need anything else like here's a scrap of brown tear tear it a little it just, these stickers just get really lost on this busy background but I like the busy background needs to be torn just a little bit. A little tall. Okay. So has everyone else finished their fall journals? Moved on to Christmas? I was uh, moving stuff around in my closet. I found a Christmas journal I'd made. I guess I put it um, in my Etsy shop and it had never sold or something, so it had expired on my Etsy, so I totally forgot about it, I guess. I know that last year when I was cleaning up, I found a journal I had finished all except the cover and totally forgot about, so I usually forget about them. So um, I have two already finished. I thought I would go back through them, though, and see. You know, I can add some more stuff to them. But I have one kit I'm definitely going to use. I think it's something about like Irish Christmas. And I know, I think it was Antique Papery that was doing a closeout on some of her uh, digitals. She was discontinuing them. So I just went crazy. And then I saw this Christmas one. I thought, oh, it's not a discontinued and it's not on sale. But it's definitely coming home with me. So I bought it and I can't wait to get started on it. Okay. So, a little pieces out of the way, and we're, oh, stickers. Now the problem is, how do I get them straight? We just hope for the best. I'm sure these were probably from Hobby Lobby, maybe last year, I don't know. Oops, I may not have left much room for the bottom one. Should have, I knew better. I should have put the bottom one in first. That's just rule number one, isn't it? Oh, well, I don't think I can get it up. Oh, I can get it up. Yikes. Yeah, I can. Sort of almost. Oops. I don't know. I think that brown paper wants to tear. I think we can still cover it up. Okay, maybe that's a little better. Okay. It just adds to the look behind the sticker, the torn brown paper. Okay, how many more do we have left? Okay, I'm not going to finish any more of these because I was doing the same thing. I will finish them off camera. And so I'm just going to set those aside there so they can fall over on me in a minute. And this one, I already had um, this booklet made out of book page and blank papers and some fabric on the spine, which I'm going to cut down a little bit. Maybe I'll use my... 50-50 chance of getting the... These are definitely, I know, the bad pinky shears. I have one that then cut it all in one set. That's pretty good. Yeah. I just got to remember the newer handle is the newer ones, obviously. Okay. So, I'll scrap this out of the way. 
Anyway, got to decorate the front. So I was thinking about that. Also cut from a five ring binder. You can take it out of the way. I had this little cluster in my uh, stash there. So I thought I could put that there. And I could put Hello Autumn across here. Now this is cut from the Artsology kit. I have her paper kit and uh, I guess... What was I cutting? Oh, I was cutting file folders. We may or may not see those in this video. Um, I, I had them already planned out as well. And um, I thought, you know, I'm keeping that where it says Hello Autumn. So I'm just going to use it. So we can just put it across there and we'll call this one done. Okay, let's get back in my chair. It doesn't help that I have pillows behind me and a book. <laughs> I don't want to make this video too long, so we may have parts one, two, three, four, and ten. Okay. This is just a bunch of different things collaged together. Leftovers from last year, I'm sure. I think it did have a little sticker or something. Right there, it says postcard on it. That orange there's uh, trim. I don't think I have it for sale or anything in my Etsy shop, but some I tried scanning. Just put that across there, and that's the journaling card done. Let me look and see how much time I've used. Oh my goodness. Oh well. Okay, I'm signing off. Thank you guys if you stuck with me this long, and I will see y'all later. Bye.